And there was something that was truly amazing that my father and my aunt, specifically my aunt, instilled in me. And it was not only to get my education for my mind to be right, but to get an education of the heart. And I went to the school of the heart. And that school happened every single day in my aunt's house or in my father's house in Puerto Rico. Every time I started to become bitter, every time I started to say, forget this, this, you know, I don't care anymore, I'm just gonna mess up, and I'm, I had a terrible, terrible temper. I don't know if that's very hard for y'all to believe, but I did. <laughs> and got into a lot of fights. And every time I would go home, my aunt would just take that heart and caress it and nurture it and turn it until the bitterness would just dissipate. <coughs> Wouldn't go away completely, but it just would dissipate slowly. She told me, you could be mad today, but you cannot be mad tomorrow. Because if you're mad tomorrow, you're gonna stay mad forever. And if you stay mad forever, then you're gonna mess up my day. <laughs> <laughs> and you really have to think about that. If you become a bitter person, if you become a disillusioned person, you affect everybody. You affect everybody, you affect the world, you know? Look at Hitler. He was pissed off because his mother didn't raise him right. <laughs> Look what happened to him. Okay, bad joke. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but seriously, um, she just kept, she just kept always instilling in me, there's someone worse off than you. There's someone that is struggling so much more than you. Yeah, you were in that home, the nuns beat you, they're crazies because they don't have sex. Okay, I digress. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you get in fights every day, but there's somebody worse than you. So have your pity party for about an hour and then get over it. Best advice I could have ever had. Best advice I could have ever had because it made room for all the positivity that came to me.